Now, it is also World Environment Day today, and much of the world is choking in waste, especially plastic waste. Nairobi produces more than uh, 2,000 tons of waste a day, but most of it is discarded. But waste pickers have, in their own small ways, been contributing to efforts to clean up. They pick through trash for plastics for sale and also earn a living, Eunice Omolo reports. Anthony Ngoge scavenges for plastics from his decayed landmark of Kawangware in Nairobi. For years, he has been scouring for a lifeline from the city's trash. Anthony, birds of prey, stray dogs and other waste pickers come through tons of garbage in the little landfills in the capital for plastic. For six years, father of three Michael Kinyanjui has been making a living from collecting and selling plastics. It's just enough to keep his family going. Every evening, he brings his day's collection to this collection point. After weighing, he's paid his dues, fair wages for less than fair work. In a month, I end up at 10K, cure poor, even 15K. A kilogram of plastics features between 15 and 19 shillings, depending on the type. We have one clerk and uh, maybe one casual to help the clerk to do sorting so that we can dispatch the material to the factory. The assorted plastics are then sent to this factory, Mr. Green Africa, in Nairobi's Samia Business Park. Here, about 500 kilograms of plastic is sorted, then crushed into pellets before undergoing a rigorous washing process to remove oils and glues. About 260 tons of plastic is recycled every month, made into useful products such as buckets and water tanks. And that circular economy means that this plastic bottle has a life again after that plastic has been processed and consumed. The initiative Utan Waste Project is a partnership between the Unilever East Africa and Mr. Green Africa. We as a company want to do is sh make them shining heroes that they are really important part of society and they do a very honorable job for all of us, for all of us here in Kenya to bring back plastics into a more formal system and make it recyclable and, and um, more circular. <laughs> But if you look at the 2,000 plus uh, jobs that have been created by the waste collectors and combined together with the 90 plus uh, employees that he has given full-time employment, uh, you can see that this is actually an economy that if, be if it became fully circular, you'll even be talking of more jobs. According to global data on plastic by the UN, 10% of all human-generated waste is plastic. A big part of it ends up in landfills or in water bodies. Nairobi produces about 2,400 tons of waste a day. Roughly 60% of it is collected, but only around 10% is recycled. The rest is dumped or burnt. Eunice Omolo, NTV, Nairobi.